vacation for 13 people is not an easy task. Leaving from Stapleton only to return to DIA makes it even more hectic. And it's a situation the Bartlett family tried to avoid. The whole time, you know, these pa this past year, um, if we were planning a trip, we would kind of avoid those dates. They had uh, April 15th and we were avoiding that, you know. So this time they hadn't announced any days and we just booked them. We were actually trying to avoid uh, President's Day. Some family members are worried about the baggage system at DIA and even bought new carry-on luggage. But Sue and Ed just plan to pack less and hope everything works out. I'm not worried about the baggage system. I, you know, I think they've worked most of the bugs out of it. and. Uh, in some ways, in the, the old, I think anything could be slower than the old systems. You know, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be exciting. You know, I'm trying to have a positive attitude about it. But um, I am concerned about uh, the shuttle and getting back to our car. And, you know, I picture us sitting there at 1030 at night on top of our bags, hopefully, on top of our bags, waiting for some shuttle bus to come get us and take us back. Shuttle parking could be a problem when the Bartlett's try to get back to their car here at Stapleton. But when he left, Ed was still having those nagging doubts about actually landing at DIA and having to deal with the shuttle. It's just been too long and too many, uh, too many you know, false hopes. Huh? Did you like a but on opening day, DIA surprised and impressed a lot of people, including the Bartlett's. I finally believe it, you know, uh, through Pena and, and, and Wellington Webb, we finally did it. I've been here for 30 years now. I don't know where to walk. Imagine that. But this place is beautiful. I think it was well worth it. After a successful encounter with the baggage system... That's it, we got them, yeah. What a baggage system. The Bartlett's were off to the shuttle okay. and to Stapleton for a final goodbye. Philip Palmer, News 4. Ed Bartlett was at the...